Hey, no, I didn't say that I thought your kid was ugly. Uh, I just Steven, thought- Steven, why did you call this meeting? Yeah, is everything okay? This isn't like that one time where you thought you were turning into a unicorn, but then it was just a forehead zip. It was very right? pointy and you- Hey! Hey, hey uh, what's the new cast of Studio C doing here? I don't know. Steven just said it was an emergency and that we all had to be here. What's going on? <sighs> well, ever since the 10 of us left and started JK Studios and the new guys took over Studio C, there's been bad blood between us. And I cannot stand it anymore, all right? Dude, what are you talking about? I hung out with Matt and Adam like yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, that's different. That's just a few of you. Actually, so it's... I was there too. Yeah, it was a lot me of too. people. Yeah, me too. Stacy and I play tennis every week. Yeah. What? I love tennis. I love getting together with these guys. Yeah, sorry, man. We only have enough rackets for everyone that's already playing, so. Which is? Yeah, I go. I don't. I don't yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was there. Uh -huh. yeah. As per mm. usual. Literally okay. everyone. How come well, I never know about me. these hangouts? Well, we don't really tell you. For obvious reasons. Guys, since we're all here, why don't we do something now? Ooh, yeah, let's do a sketch game. Uh, oh. You've already. You've already. Mm -hmm. You've already. Yeah. Yeah. Pretend, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. Say. Well, since we're all here, I do have a back set that kind of looks like Jack No, Black. no, 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 The door is open, come on in. <sighs> Do you want a glass of water? Oh yes, thank you. And here you go. Oh, 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 uh, it was supposed to be for drinking. Oh, but now there's a retainer in it. That's okay. So, are you still having that reoccurring nightmare? You mean the one where my conjoined twin and I get separated? Yes. And since he's like growing out of my arm and we get separated and he's lost in the woods, my arm just becomes like a stump that turns into like a, a missing child poster. Oddly specific. Yeah, I'm a vivid dreamer. I mean, just ask Leovold. I mean, sometimes my night terrors just make me like thrash about and I like hit him against the walls and I'm oh, sorry. Who would you say in your life is your biggest enemy? I want us to do a role-playing exercise. I'm going to be your biggest enemy, and you are going to be yourself. Okay, but who's he gonna be if I am playing you? No, no, you are going to be yourself. Am I just me, or am I both of us since we're like, conjoined? You're, you're just gonna be yourself, okay. Is he me, and I'm Ariana Grande? You're playing you. I'll be me, but I'm C. Just be you. It's like a Hannah Montana situation. You're just gonna play yourself. You, that's it. You, you're just playing you. You don't have to worry about anything else. Got it. <sighs> okay. Let's start. I'm a pop sensation and this is my alter ego. No one's ever seen us in the same room at the same time. No, this is the exercise. Yeah, I guess that doesn't make sense since we're in the same room at the same time, like, right now. You're just playing yourself you know what we're just gonna, we're gonna skip this one we'll come back to it um maybe nailed it now i'm going to hold up a series of pictures and you just have to tell me what they remind you of mm -hmm. how about this one time i got my face stuck in like the middle of a trampoline that's that's what it looked like let's just move on to the next one lisa let's say this one yeah, that's what Leovold looked like when he grew out of my arm. Like, his head and his arms just stuck out like flower petals. Uh, and he had like a little leg, like that leaf that, but it just fell off. We're never gonna look at this one again. Well, I got pictures of the real thing if you want them. Okay, last one. Ooh. Just trust your gut. Yeah, last summer, Leovold got detached from my arm in a freak accident, except by like one tendon. And he just like, the wind just whoosh, just like launched him up into the sky and you know, he, the tendon, it turned him into a kite. What is wrong with you? He had to get surgically reattached. Okay. We're paying you for this. Let's just talk about your feelings. How, how are you, how, how are you feeling? How do you feel? 
you know, I feel great. And Leopold, man, I think he's feeling tired. Like I can tell cause like my arm is going numb. And so like, it's about that time where I just like whew, hold him upside down cause he sleeps like a bat. I want to help them. You did, she did. Like, it's good. I feel great. You know, it's super normal now, right? It's not weird. Hello. Are you Arvin Senior Mitchell? Yeah, I'm Arvin. Are you ready to receive your musical telegram? Telegram? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Who's it from? Funland County District Court of Fun! Yeah! <laughs> you can't be serious. I, I, I am. Okay, go ahead. All right, you are hereby summoned to court. Yeah, on accounts of fun and happy and theft and assault. Funland has only one way we send messages, and we've never had to take anyone to court, so you're getting a fun time musical telegram, all right? Okay, can I keep going? You gotta be kidding me. We had a fun time with you at Funland playing games. Till 3, 4 to 7 p.m. when you stole a blue robe mm -hmm. and a glass jar. Well, it's like more of like a glass carafe, you know what I mean? Carafe? Carafe? What are those glass things when they serve you orange juice over at like good old Denny? That's not true at all! I mean, uh... <laughs> you know, if the shoe fits, <laughs> or the robe fits. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't even covered the assault yet, so hold tight there. What?! <laughs> At 3.55 when questioned, you just picked up a small teenager and just threw him at security like he was a little old football, <laughs> yep. Yeah, and then you fled the scene, fled the scene, there was lots of blood, oh no, there was so much blood. Oh. This is something anybody would do. What? Oh, you stole a car. No, no. From... A pregnant woman in a leg cast. No, no. You are going to heaven, I assume, because you're here. <laughs> Let's wrap it up. I'm really trying, okay? I'm really trying. I just have one more part and then I'm gone and I'm out of your hair, okay? No. Hit it, boys! We expect a response from your lawyer next week. We'll have to bring lawyers into this. Oh, did someone say beatbox? Let's go. <laughs> If you didn't like your musical fun time telegram, feel free to leave a review. Your turn, take it away. No. And then, that's okay, I'll take it from here. Classic bougie ratchet. The door is open, come on in. Has the door not been sanitized? Is everything all right? Oh, it's you! I am so glad you decided to come back. Yeah, the only reason I'm here is because I know that mental health is just as important as physical health, and now I am in a death trap. Come on in, take a seat. You guys, give me 20 minutes. I would rather stand. Do you want a glass of water? Oh, no, no. And here you go. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You just touched it with your bare hand. Let's baby bird it. Oh, oh! Refreshing. So how about we start right where we left off? Maybe I'll just... Here we go, yay! It was supposed to be for drinking. Excuse me, I just took care of your plastic plant. That, that's okay. You're welcome. So, are you still having that reoccurring nightmare? No, but I have been having this really nice dream. I take a bath and hand sanitizer. I live in the suburbs. I have three kids and a cute little dog. There's hand sanitizer flowing from the faucets. It's lovely. It's oddly specific. Dreams are dreams, Brittany. Now, I'm going to hold up a series of pictures, and you just have to tell me what they remind you oh, of. Oh, okay. I can do this. Here we go. How about this? Cholera. That's fine. 
Let's say this one. Cholera. Oh. Let's just move on to the next one. Cholera. What about, let's say, cholera. Last one, no wrong answers. Just trust your gut. Bubonic plague. Okay, I don't know how, but that is wrong. Let's just talk about your feelings. How, how are you, how, how are you feeling? How do you feel? Like death is inevitable and all of this has just confirmed my greatest fears that there's germs everywhere and they're going to kill us all and who cares about anything else in the world and I'm getting really hot in here. Is anybody hot in here? These are my backup gloves. What is wrong with you? Actually, I'm kind of thirsty now. No, you cannot have another glass of water. Uh, okay, that's fair. Can you open up the door? I don't want to contaminate my backup gloves. Hello. Hi. May I help you? I was just dropping off a package. Oh, okay. Who's it from? Uh. Sorry, what was that? Who's it from? Oh, you call me back for that. Uh, I don't know, but there's a return label, so you could, but uh, you spit on it, so. How much are they paying you to do this? Well, that's a little personal. Uh, it's $20 an hour. That's too much. Well, I don't know. It's a lot of walking, and if you lose any part of your uniform, you have to replace it. A hawk stole my hat once, and I had to, you know, make this to replace it. It's not good. I'm not very talented. I pay you double to leave. I was leaving, but I mean, yeah, if you want to. Do you use Venmo or? Okay, so no Venmo. Uh, do you want to use PayPal? You know what? You don't have to pay me anything. This is weird. I'm just going to go before you keep spitting on the package. Okay. It, it says handle with care. This is something anybody would do. Uh, I have never seen anyone do that. Stop! You don't even know what's inside that thing. Okay, how would you respond? by taking it inside and opening it. Have you never received mail before? Okay, I can't anymore with you. I can't. That's what I get for trying. That was trying? You're deliberately spitting water onto that package, which is fine. It's your package, I guess. Don't make that face. No, no, don't pretend that you are regretting this or anything. No. Now see, the moment I saw you in a bathrobe in the middle of the afternoon, I should've just walked away. That bathrobe is a cry for help. Can a brother get another chance? A chance to what? Not spit on your mail again? Sure, here's another chance. All you have to do is not spit. Okay, that is it. I know you know better than this. We can all do better. So you agree? Don't. Don't. Do not. I know you're doing this just to aggravate me. I know you're doing this just to get a reaction from me. But I What if it's not supposed to get wet? What if there are important documents in there? Or a, or a gremlin? What? You expect me to believe you don't know what a gremlin is? Mm -mm. You know good and well what a gremlin is, and there are only three rules. You don't take them out in the sunlight, you don't feed them after midnight, and you do not get them wet. That's not true at all. Oh, it's true. It's a fictional premise, but it's true. Mm. I'm leaving. I hope there's tons of gremlins in there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. 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 I'm sorry I got heated. Enjoy your package. Thank you. You're welcome. Ah! The door is open. Come on in. Oh, well. Oh, it's you. That's another meeting. I am so glad you decided to come back. Well, not rightly by choice. The old trouble and strife kept me out of the house on account of I bought another dog. Come on in. Take a seat. All right. <clears throat> now that's dog number seven. Do you want a glass of water? All right, go. And here you go. I'll put it right in there. Oh, oh. Save what? it for the dogs. I ain't out of drink in days. Uh, it was supposed to be for drinking. All right. So how about we start right where we left off? Oh, uh, we were talking about... Boats? Are you still having that reoccurring nightmare? Oh, right. The one where Batman's beating me with a giant pickle. 
Yes. Now, I ain't a pickle expert. That's my father. But I'd say it was a Jackson Supreme. Oddly specific. All right. Who would you say in your life is your biggest enemy? Easy. The sun. It's the biggest thing in the universe, and it can burn you from like a hundred miles away. Now, I want us to do a role-playing exercise. I love Shakespeare. Which one? I'm going to be your biggest enemy, and you are going to be yourself. Oh, pork pies. There ain't a Shakespeare play about King Kong. By the way, I changed my mind. It's not the sun, it's King Kong. Something about that monkey robs me the wrong way. No, no, you are going to be yourself. No, no, I'll be Macbeth. You're, you're just going to be yourself, okay? What about Hamlet? You're playing you. Romeo and Juliet, I will keep it professional. <laughs> I'm a married man, I think. You're just going to play yourself. That's it. You're just playing you. You don't have to worry about anything else. Oh, right. I'll get it. <sighs> okay. Let's start. Hi. <clears throat> Hi, how are you? A little nervous, be honest, Guff. I haven't been on stage for years. My lollies are shaking. <laughs> no, this is the exercise. Right, right. How are you? Fair is foul, and foul is fair. Hover through the fog and filthy air. You're just playing yourself. Oh, you know that one? Ow! You know what? We're just we're gonna skip this one. We'll come back to it. Right, I can't get Batman out of my head. He's beating me with a pickle. Now I am going to hold up a series of pictures, and you just have to tell me what they remind you of. Just get it sorted. Just the first thing off the top of your head, okay? Oh yeah. How about this? What does this make you think of? <gasps> This King Kong, with his furry face. That's fine. Let's just move on to the next one. If you please. What about, let's say, let's say this one. It's a pickle plant. Oh. Oh, what? Or it's Batman's aunt with a pickle growing out of it. Oh. Clever move there, Batman. We're never going to look at this one. All right. Okay, last one. No wrong answers. It's a demon envelope spitting out candies to lure you in and bind you with a flaxen cord. Okay, I don't know how, but that is wrong. That is that is incorrect. Oh no, maybe it's bow tie pasta. If you cover it in butter, it's just as tempting. Okay. You know what? It's fine. We don't we don't need those. Let's just talk about your feelings. How how are you feeling? How do you feel? A little gassy. Okay. Okay. Why did you just show me scary drawings to make me gassy so I'd have to leave? What? That's why my wife kicked me out. And how does that make you feel? It's not like I showed her scary drawings of pickle hands and demon correspondence. What is wrong with you? Oh, I get it. I'm King Kong. I brought home too many dogs, so my wife, she feels like Batman's beating her with a pickle. I want to help them. And now, I gotta do something to make up for it. Like buy her a puppy. I want to help them. Thank you so much for all your help. Before I go, and I take more water for my dogs. No, you cannot have another glass of water. Blah, 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 blah. We just need you to do two things. Subscribe below and be sure to check out the thumbnail to see how the cast of Studio C responded to the sketches we sent them. You guys sent us some pretty, some pretty weird footage. Yeah, we did. And you guys responded brilliantly. <gasps> oh, thank you. And yeah, ev everyone did a great job. Well, almost everyone. Nah, I'm just kidding. Y'all did great. <laughs> Seriously, everyone, be sure to check out the video and tell them we sent you. And be sure to comment down below about what collab you want to see us do next. Oh, oh yeah. Bye. Love you. <laughs>